All right. What up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. That's the only place you can find a wave. It's the Wave 804. I got my dog in here. Two cut row. It is my guy. Gucci, was Gucci, my guy, man. Nice, yes. nice to be here. I appreciate you having me here again, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. It's an honor, man. I know you've been ripping and running, you know what I'm saying? I had to get you to sit down, man, so I can soak up some of your time, big dog. So I want to go ahead and get your story. So wherever mm -hmm. you feel like starting that, man, let them know, man. You go ahead and you got the floor. Ah, uh, man. Uh, born in VA, man. Raised from here. Jersey back and forth. You know I mean? All my family from Jersey, like I say, man. Um, you know what I mean, so I got the, you know, I got the opportunity to have both backgrounds. You feel me? My pops from Queens. So, you know, I got, I got, you know, from three backgrounds. When it comes to New York, I won't really go on to New York as heavy, but mm -hmm. Jersey, hell yeah. But, um, you know what I mean? Still pushing the fuck. You already know what the fuck going on, man. Mm -hmm. But, um, at the end of the day, I'm a boxer. I do modeling, but I step hard with it and I do my music, but I go OD hard, man. The rollouts that's coming for this right now is major. So if you ain't tapped in, tap the fuck in because um it's going up. All the fights right now, man, with the boxing, man, I'm KOing shit. I mean, we got crazy rollouts. <laughs> I'm not gonna let too much be known when it comes to the rollouts with the with the boxing right now. Y'all y'all gotta tap in with that. But as far as the music, y'all niggas know I'm gonna drop. Consistency is key, man. That's mm -hmm. a fact, man. They gonna know about me. I mean, they know about me already, but they gonna keep hearing about me. One thing that's major, right? You know what we say? We say one thing that I learned that if you are great at something, you need to start working on being greater at what you're great at. Mm -hmm. Not working on your weaknesses. Why don't you work on your weaknesses? That's what God's supposed to do. He works on your weaknesses. You feel me? You don't worry about those. You work on your great what you great on. Say that you was if you was rating some one out of ten. Mm -hmm. If you were seven at something you great at it, and you sit there and you decide to go three more levels up with that, mm -hmm. now look, you work on what you great at. Work mm -hmm. on what you great at, bro. That's something that really stuck with me. I don't know why. It's really stick. It's really stick with me. Mm -hmm. That's something I wanted to. I mean, get off. But no, you know I respect that. Word, word. No, I respect that. Uh, that's that's yeah. That's my quote. That's my line for the year, bro. Mm -hmm. word. I word got too. you. I got you, man. I respect that because, like, even with myself, like, you know, dealing with some personal shit, like, I needed to hear that, too, because I be mostly trying to focus on, like, just getting to the money, but I've been doing this for so, so much, and motherfuckers fucking with it from different places. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, damn, I need to start focusing more on what I got because it makes me happy. Like, when I think yeah. about other shit, it kind of, like, throws me off, and I'm like, damn, I ain't focused where I'm supposed to be. So, I'm, I'm going to take heed to that shit, bro. I appreciated that line, for real. Word, word, my God. Yes, sir. So, first and foremost, man, when I first started seeing what you was doing, big dog, I want to say this had to be like a year ago, you know what I'm saying? You were dropping music, and with that music, you know what I'm saying, came with like the boxing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, with that, I don't know, man. It's almost like a Mike Tyson can can rap. You know what I'm saying? On some type <laughs> shit like that. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On some type shit, rap shit. Nah, no, because for real, like y'all, if y'all have not seen Raw's fights, bro, like go on his page. I think it's on his YouTube page as well. Yeah, it's on there too. Raw cut the number two. Yeah. R A W K U T T on all platforms: the music, the boxing, everything, man. I'm some business. Yeah. So if you can just go ahead and let them know, man. Like, what was something that you? stumbled upon first you know so was it the boxing or was it like more so the music part it was both uh, they both started they both really started at 14 uh, with the music I, I wrote my first real song at 14 then i really got like started training boxing at 14 i started competition in boxing at 16 though but i was already doing it you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying because like I, I was already scrapping out in the streets and doing this down the third but I uh, had to, my dad came home. My pop said did 15 years. He came home and made me get straight to it. Like, oh, you want to be fighting? All right, then do something with it then. Mm -hmm. I did something with it. But the music, it never left me. Like, neither one of them never left me. I always say, like, people always be saying, like, yo, focus on one thing. Like, you don't got to focus on one thing, bro. Like, if your mind, if you got the capacity, you can sit there and do multiple things and be great at them, mm -hmm. then boom, like, do that then. So that's what I started to do. And the uh, music, you know, the boxing was a way for me to let my like a deep anger out. The music was more a way for me to speak to people around me when if I didn't really want to speak to people. I don't know. It's like it was it was like because I used to like I used to follow Nas and Rock mm -hmm. Him. I mean, mm -hmm. like so my OG that I had they used to take me around and do I used to battle rap or I used to do all types of shit. You feel me with rap? I did everything that come with rap. And then as far as the boxing, I was doing everything that come with boxing. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And I just don't let it go. I love fighting. I love music. Why I gotta let it go? Yeah, yeah. I, I respect that, man. For somebody who's very well balanced, you know what I'm saying? His mind is is in the right place. Now, one thing that I do admire about you, I don't think that you smoke or drink. Now, okay, so I do smoke tree, no tobacco, though. I don't smoke no, no okay. miles, no boogies, um, none of that. But as far as the smoking, like when it comes to fights, months in advance of the fight, it's none of that. Drinking, it's never been my thing because, you know, what I dealt with in my life as far as, like, my, my mom being an alcoholic and shit like that. Like, I, I didn't experience a lot of shit with that. So, like, drinking was never something that was, like, tough to me, bro. If mm-hmm. I'm, like, I used to drink when I was younger, it was to try to get away type shit. Mm-hmm. How, how were you mm-hmm. able to uh, obtain so much discipline, bro, when it comes to that? Because I know, you know, people go through life, life experiences, you know how shit knock you all types of the way. How were you able to maintain your, your discipline while going through that? Like, again, you say you, you cold turkey when it comes time to a fight. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's and, and it takes a lot of discipline to be able to do that. So how were you able to maintain that? I mean, you you want better. You want better in life. And I won't. nobody was giving that shit to me. Like, my right. dad came home. He was trying to give me everything he could. But understanding, nigga, you got locked up. I think my dad got locked up at 16 or mm-hmm. 14. I think it was like 16. One or the other, and came home. So I knew he was trying to catch up on life, but he was still grinding. Mm-hmm. I liked that. I admired that. You know what I mean? I just I, I noticed that, and I liked it. I I tried to follow that lead, but beforehand, he always made sure he told me I was the man of the house. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I took that shit so serious. To me, my pops came home. Me and him squabbled like as a little nigga, little nigga, like real boom, like like yeah. real because I I didn't know how to break out of that. I didn't know I'd break out of that. Like, I used to wild out and, like, tell him, like, you're not my dad. Like, go back to jail. Like, I used to wild out. And and I, the discipline came because I seen how my dad would react in those situations, like, after the squad. But, like, my dad never liked doing that. Like, I think my dad might have whooped my ass once in my whole life. Mm-hmm. My mom, I, yeah, I don't, that's new. I, I can't count. But right. my pops, I know he didn't want to do that. He meant that. He still don't, I don't, I don't beat my kids. Mm-hmm. For me, if you're going to respect me, you're going to respect me. Woo, woo. Like, you're going to respect me, but I'm going to show you his consequences behind that. But right. I don't want to have to put my hands on you, beat you, like, none of that. I should be able to use my words. So, discipline really came from me having to be grown at a young age, bro. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, respect your, I respect your principles, bro. Like, because, again, like, when you see a person that value something in life, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. for whatever it is, like, they stay, like, stay on that. Now, with right, the right. music in your, uh, in your boxing... Well, shit, it kind of go hand to hand, man. How were you able, when you in the studio, when you make your bars, you want to hit those type of, you know, you, you want to make sure when you rap, that shit hit. And then yeah. when you in the ring, you want to make sure that you have some type of flow. Like, because, nigga, when you be in there, you be yeah. on some other shit. So that yeah, right too. there goes ties in hand to hand. And, bro, like, how do you do that shit, my G? Well, as far as, like, how, how I keep my rhythm with boxing, yeah, well, it's like, well, boxing, and then when you were in the studio, you really willing to make a hit, you know what I'm saying? Both of them is poise. Both of them. Music. There's so many people that's so so much better than you. Whether you believe it the fuck or not, bro, you're not the, you're not the, you got to become the greatest. That's why I said work on what you're great at and become greater, bro. Mm-hmm. Like Jay-Z say, he say, or oh, yeah, Jay-Z told, he told Rick Ross, he said, choose a beat. Don't choose a beat that you like. Choose a beat that works. Mm-hmm. So, I, I make by me working on my craft. I, both of them, I, I just decided to keep making a grid. I see niggas that was nice, nice, and I just take from it. I, I apply what I did for boxing. They sell tell you don't go and just go look at Floyd and take Floyd whole style. Don't do that. You're not Floyd. Don't go take Roy Jones. Host. You're not Roy Jones. Build your own arsenal. Pick five boxers. Take his footwork. Take his jab. Take his head movement. Take his I mean his slips. This that and there, and build your own arsenal. With music, same thing. Take this from Hove. Take this from Meek. Take this from Chief. Take this and build your own arsenal. But with all of those, you still got to remain calm. You still got to learn poise. I learned poise from Kobe. I learned that people with poise is so much more dangerous. Of course, when you get to times in a big fight, or of course, you get to a main, a big stage, nerves. You, you can't. Ultimately, you can control them joints, but you can't. But poise. Uh, be able to help you regain, like, say you train super hard, right? Mm-hmm. You train super hard, you get to the fight, and your nerves shock. Once your nerves shock, 50% of what you then sat there and trained for is gone because your nerves is fucking you up. Mm-hmm. 
Right. When it comes to music, yo, I'm I know I'm nice. I know the song fire. Woo woo. And I go and get on the stage. And I get stage fright. Poise. You can't be, man, y'all all regular people, bro. This is what I like to do. Y'all gonna come either be fans or get the fuck out the way with the boxing. Y'all not in here fighting. I'm in here fighting. Y'all gonna either be fans or get the fuck out the way. Mm -hmm. Poise. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. that, man. Yeah, I, I, I like your sense of character, too. When you in that boxing mm -hmm. ring, man, uh, of course, you go up against other people and you spoke on about, you know, you going up against folks that mm -hmm. know things just as much as you do. And again, you got to stay poised amongst that. And again, like this is just an outsider looking in. When I see, you know, boxes box and, you know, saying they look and they make sure they take their time to, I guess, either duck from a punch or about to throw a punch. But yeah. how are you able to kind of like know like what you about to get into? I know you train as hard, but just mm -hmm. to make sure that's like, you know, you doing exactly how you train and then everything that you're doing in the ring is connecting. You know what I'm saying? So when I mean, it comes to like mid work, bag work, and the training is the hard part. The fight is the easy fun shit. But muscle memory, first of all, from 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 pad work and shit like that, is it's muscle memory. So now you're just throwing it on accident for real, for real. Mm -hmm. But uh when, when it when it comes to um getting in the ring and, and, and staying calm, bro, first of all, if you get in there and you just panicking, what the fuck was the point of you training training so hard? But you see so much more, bro. You see so much more when you get in there and realize this ain't no fucking shootout. This is a fight, bro. Mm -hmm. And I've been in both. So it's like, bro, all right, I go in there, it's a fight, bro. You gonna come out at the end regardless, bro. See what I'm saying? So when I go in there. Yo, I, I don't know. Like, I've I been asked that all the time. Like, after Golden Gloves, all that, like, coaches be like, how you remain so calm? How you stay so calm? I'm like, I swore that was supposed to be a thing. I swore this is what we're supposed to be doing. But it's not, bro. It's not. A lot of niggas just be fighting off of just juicing themselves up. Like, no, nah, I'm not gas, bro. I know I train hard. I know I know my shit. I'm going to try to use it against you. Then I'm a counter puncher. I decided to go to a counter puncher. Counter punching is basically you teaching me how to beat you the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Because I'm I'm advancing off all your mistakes. So I'm saying, so I'm saying I'm taunting off all your mistakes. I'm acting off all your mistakes. Why am I panicking? Mm -hmm. I can sit here, wait, jab you up, boom, jab you up, do a little few yummy know I head movements, peek you out, peek you out. Then I see that okay, when I flinch at you, that right go up on accident because you think I'm ready to hit you. So now when I jump again and that right go up, I throw to the body. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying I'm gonna act on it next. Then, all right, after that floor, I got to look for another floor. Your poison is everything, bro. When you stay calm, I'm talking about niggas. Just, I, I, I punch it, be coming, and be right here, and I weave. You just got there. Move your biscuit. It's not it's not too much to it. Move your biscuit. Move your head. You don't want to get hit? Move your head, bro. You learn how to move your head. Move your head, bro. Mm -hmm. I just stay calm because at the end of the day, like I said, bro, I have been through shit in life, bro. I've mm -hmm. been through a lot of shit in life, so I... Really don't like. I don't panic in that. Not no fucking fight. I don't mm -hmm. panic in that. I've been jumped all types of shit. So I don't, I don't panic in no squabble, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, I always been like that. Uh, that young kid, man. Like, damn, man. I ain't gonna hold you, young but You got a lot of heart, my nigga. Like, yeah. bro, I know you. I see you with your halo and everything, my nigga. You, you, you stuck in that joint. And uh, yeah. I, I think. The closest thing to that for me was football because, again, you know, contact, whatever the case may be. But mm -hmm. I always had a, a thing for boxing because, again, like, little guy, you know, somebody <laughs> may just try to come off and be like, yeah, I'm going to whoop his ass. Like, I always had that I ain't backing down type shit. Try to fuck with you because you little or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Me? And then, like, Word. once you come off and you show him, like, oh, yeah, you ain't that, then it's, like, it's different. But then it's, like, like, mm -hmm. J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? Like, my <laughs> lip game was full, but once niggas start going there, like, ah, shit, let me go ahead and get right. Let me see Word to the, word to the. You know what I'm saying? So, you win some, you lose some. And, and I, and I understand that. Day, and I yeah. live to fight a motherfucking day, bro, even word when I had though. a little cut on my lip. It's all good. You, you know? all right, bro, you're a boy, you're a man, you know what I mean? Yeah. You all right? Feel me? You take that shit on the chin. That's the thing. And then we already we already taught to bottle up our feelings and all that extra shit. Okay, it's fine. So why not be tough with all that? That's what that's teaching you to be tough. Just be tough, bro. It's a fight, bro. You won't learn if you don't fight, nigga. Like you gonna go walk around being scared of everything, bro. It's a squabble, bro. I wish I wish so bad, nigga. Still fought like I squabble, nigga. But it's like 
that thing's still on me. Yeah. The squabble, and I got to, and now it's to the point where I got to know your intentions is to squabble, bro. I got to yeah. really know, and I got to know you don't got that thing on you, because you don't got that thing on you. I'm a squabble, not even there. Yeah. I'm not, not hearing all that. I, I don't fight niggas, man. That's when it's, all right. Yeah. Man, it's sad, though, bro, because right when it, <laughs> I was laughing my pops yesterday, I said, it's sad as hell. I said, niggas learn how to squabble. Just for once niggas got advanced with squabble, everybody like, you can talk to my third. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. Like, pointless. Yeah. yeah. That's why I got to kind of be be smart, you know what I'm saying, who I'm dealing with. Because, I mean, mm-hmm. ain't nobody soft if you walk away, you know what I'm saying? Because, again, you care about your life. Some motherfuckers mm-hmm. don't care. Uh, yeah. And, like, with me, I'm a father, bro. You know, I'm a older brother, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as far same. as, like, my pops died, I had to be that one to step up. So I got to kind of be mindful, of, like, what you say and how the way that you act, you know what I'm saying? I so appreciate yeah, it, my yeah. brother. Yeah. So um, that's why, like, I really admire what you do, you know what I'm saying, on the side of the boxing and the rapping, but even having a conversation with you, man, you got a really good head on your shoulders, man, mad intellectual. So and for a person that... My question to you is, what do you think is like the biggest misconception when people, you know, meet you? You know what I'm saying? They may look at you like, man, I don't know if I should talk to them. You know, people be intimidated. <laughs> For, like I had, I had, um, like we, I had this, um, when I had this party at my crib and, um, shorty's basically like when they asked this one question in the game was playing, like who in here looks the most unapproachable? And they all, they, like, majority <laughs> chose me. Now, they didn't choose me, like, on some, like, he's ugly. Right. They were like, no, nah, we definitely not saying ugly. We're saying, like, you just look mean. Yeah. Like, you look like, woo, like, you look like the hardest to approach. Yeah. And I just be like, that. I think that's the big, biggest joy. Like, bro, I'm not, like, mean, bro. Oh, there's definitely a demon in there, but I've learned to get rid of that and be happy 25 weeks for real. Smile. And, and, like, I'm real. I'm funny as hell. I'm funny as hell. I'm nice as hell, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm outgoing. My aura is everything. My energy is crazy. So it's just like, I don't, I, don't, I, I like to push that initiative because I don't want to start off where I'm giving you this rough, rugged, ignorant, mean, going to take it there with you type nigga because then you got to uphold that. Mm-hmm. You mean you got to uphold that? I don't want to uphold that because when it do come out, you don't want it to. You're yeah. not going to want to see it no more. Yeah. So that's I think that's the biggest misconception where people is looking at me and thinking he's probably rude or he probably mean or he probably like especially when they're kind of girls like uh like well I'm not like I'm I'm real approachable and then the thing is like you wouldn't know until you really talk to me that I can have a real good intellectual conversation. I love him. Mm-hmm. I love him, you feel me? I love to pick him off a brain. I'm smart, man. You feel me? I'm smart. So I use my smarts. I know how to go from the streets to the books, nigga. I read, nigga. Like word, they say you want to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. That's ignorant as hell. Malcolm X. My dad came home, he gave me 48 laws of power all throughout the book. Well, highlighted certain lines, highlighted. Still read the whole book, but I really focus on them highlighted lines. That book like this fucking big, bro. Yeah, I got I got a copy. <laughs> 13, 13 years old, you came yeah. home reading it. Yeah. Come on, bro. So I understand, nigga. I understand life. And I took that shit and I learned. Mm-hmm. Got you, man. So you got a uh I don't wanna be mistaken, but you have a boxing match coming up soon? Yeah, um I got a fight. <laughs> I got a fight um this month on the twentieth in Texas, mm-hmm. uh with my guy Wuda. Um that's Mo Three Cousin and shit like that. Okay. Um and then after that I fight in the Bronx on the twenty sixth. And then after that I was supposed to be fighting on Cleveland on the tenth, but I might not because I'm opening up for uh Chris Rock. Krishan Rock sister uh-huh. in Pennsylvania on the tenth, so uh, that might not be. And then I got a fight in Atlanta um, on the I think it's the seventeenth, and then after that I got a fight um, in Cleveland. Wow! Not Cleveland. I said Cleveland. Um, yeah. Atlanta. Wow, man, uh, you moving? The, but the, the the these ones, the one the one in Texas, and then uh, Bronx. It's back to back fight on the twenty twenty six. I mean, not 26. The fight on the Bronx on the 26, and then the fight right here in Texas on the 20. Back to back. I don't care. Wow. I don't care. What's the preparation? I mean, of course, you got to train, but what's, like, the mental preparation? Because you got to go between those dates and they close together? Yeah. Get them out of there. Don't lose. Get them out of there. Keep your undefeated record going. Get them out of there. I tell anybody, bro, if you're not willing to die, don't get in there with me. Mm. 
I'll be damn. I'm grown. I'm not. I'm not getting in there to get embarrassed. I'm not getting there to get beat. I can be at bro. My poker face. Wow. I can be tired as shit. You will never know. Mm. You will really have to tell off my actions because you will never know. You can rock the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. And if you catch it, if you do catch it, because I guess it's hard to hit me. Trust me. So it's just like <laughs> when you do catch me, I'm talking about it's boop. Yeah. You feel me? Like, oh shit. Imagine you punching the shit out of a nigga with your hardest hit and the nigga come up. Do some funny shit like <laughs> I do that. I strike fear yeah. in your heart, nigga. Feel me? And I yeah. keep coming forward. That just fuck you up all the way. Like, if you look at get people game plans, if you go look at some pro fights, people game plans, they, when they first sit down after the first round, I say, what's the game plan? Uh, work the jab real early. Uh, stay off the ropes. Um, start with a, a start with a faster pace because they, they expect you to come out with a slower pace, but it's to instill fear quicker. Mm -hmm. Make them feel like you don't belong in there with you. Mm -hmm. It's part of the game plans. That's hard. You mean? Word. That's, that's hard. I don't, I'm not gonna hold you. I don't, I don't know. It's like I'm gonna eat. It's hot. <laughs> it's no, no, no. Face beat to Allah. Nah, that yeah. shit is tough, man. Nah, for yeah. real, man. I can't. I can't wait to see it because you already got a video on there that's like a couple million views, bro. I had mm -hmm. a way that your hands work, my guy. Please let yeah. us know like how exciting that was to not only be able to be the fighter, but also see how many views, how many people reacted off of that video. It was it was fire, bro, because I was doing I had really been laid off from boxing for like a year or two, bro. Like I was fat as hell for real, in my opinion. And uh, cause I was 200 and I fight 165. And when I'm at 65, I already be weighing like 155, 154. I mean little as hell. So it's just like when I did that, it was it was like uh free my boy Lobo, man. Um Lobo was gelling off me. He was just like, we was we just having to go go across the video and we seen Mighty Mouse. And he was like, I oh, don't know, like this point we really knew how tall or short he was. We just knew he was big as hell. All he was right. a professional MMA fighter and he go everywhere and fight bull. He fight niggas big as hell, little he don't care. You talk wild, he sliding. He's sliding, bro. And then, boom, he was just like, I don't know, bro. I know you nasty. Like, don't get a fuck. I know you nasty with hands. Like, you my dog. But I don't know if you can be him just, like, trying to get me. So this is how it worked. This is how God worked. I said, okay. I said, all right, say no more, bro. I started looking on his page all that. Two days later, my dad invited me to his friend house. New friend I met. I met his boy, Ra. Mm -hmm. Rob was in the back and I'm chopping, chopping, and boxing came up. He's like, Oh, you box? He said, Shit, my man do events and shit. Oh, he be doing my hair sometimes. I definitely gotta let you know about it because now all this talk, your dad been talking to you. Well, I want to see something. I said, What's his name? He was like, Mighty Mouse. I said, Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I said, Yo, this was two days later. Saturday was like two days from that. I said, Tell that nigga I want to squab. Mm -hmm. So, boom, we did. I went there, and if you look at the video against me and Mighty Mouse, look at the look at the the dude right there behind the the joint at the tree with the buttons going all the way down, looking like a Shaolin monk in his hands behind his back. That's Ra. He's standing there just looking like work. I'm yeah. gonna see what you saw. Ra really came out. That was his first time meeting me, but that was Mighty Mouse's first time meeting me. My aura is wild, bro. It's strong as hell. Look at Mighty Mouse. He told the camera, "I'm about to get my ass whooped." You don't even know me, bro. I just told you my name. That's it. What? He told the camera I'm about to get my ass whooped. Oh, and then, yeah. on top of, then, then on top of that, he always posts somebody in a victory. He, like, he always got to post who wanted that. Always. He never skip it. Yo, look how the video ended, bro. I call myself a third round specialist with those, with those, with the backyard fights because first round I fill you out, but I make sure you're not winning the rounds. Second round, I turn it up a little bit, make sure you're not winning the rounds. Third round, I lay it on the table. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Look how the video ended, bro. He ain't post the third round because that's when I got on his ass. Mm -hmm. But that's my man. Let me start the mouth. I got on his ass, bro. The mm -hmm. video ended like looking at somebody's pocket. Nigga, mm -hmm. he's like, yo, what happened to the video, Mouse? Who won? What happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the first person to ever beat Mouse. First person to ever beat Mouse, bro. Like easily. And then it reached 2.2 .2 million in two weeks. Yeah. And I was like, yo. Yeah. I'm looking at the comments and I realized, like, I took his page. Like, all the comments was about me. Like, the first one said, yo, I could instantly tell by the first jab this nigga won't nothing to fucking play with. Yeah. And I was just like, and I just, you know what I mean? I was like, I like that. Like, I was sitting on the back of my bull car, my boy John. 
And I'm just sitting there. So Kyle, we look at the comments like, yo, like, I'm running with this shit. Yeah. Ran with that shit, bro. Ran with that shit, bro. And Ma and the thing is, I grew even bigger because niggas be dissing Miles. He got a little case going on. That shit ain't nothing to do with me, but um, it's some shit. He got some shit going on. And now, no jumper, milk from LA, the white bull. Yeah, sure. all of them. They 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 talk shit about him. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But when they talk shit about him, go look at no jumper. Look all of them when they talk about Mighty Mouse. They use my video to show off that I beat him up. Like do you know how they do a little the little loop video? Yeah, they use my shit, and I'd be like, yo, yo, like, you know what I mean? So that That's was tough. hard. I took off. I took off. Fuck That's that. tough. That, that shit led me from there. I'm about to ramble, but that shit took me from there yeah. to um Zab Judah Celebrity Championship Boxing. God, over, man. Yeah. Over, man. Yeah. Over, man. Remember, God won't bless you if you're faking it to yourself. God don't bless who you trying to like who you're pretending to be. God gonna bless you for when you being you. He constantly bless me. So all these niggas, the, the niggas that think about trying me, bro, he keep blessing me. For everything I talk about with my rap, everything I do with my with, with um, cause he blessed me at the most high with my music, bro. He blessed me at the most high with my boxing. I'm not shit, never faking, bro. Nigga can never pull my car. He gonna keep blessing me cause I'm being me. I'm I'm really me, nigga. So before niggas think to try it <laughs> in any way, nigga. Anyway, you gotta put that as an intro to a rap song, nigga. Hey, that shit be me, fucking nigga. vicious, bro. Nah, no, oh, man, I, I, I really, I respect the authentic, the authenticness of yeah. who you are, and of course, like you can always, well, you know, we black, you can always feel somebody out and see, like, if they hell really, yeah. huh? No, I'm saying hell yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, see, so you see what's going on, and like the one thing I can take away out of this interview from you is that you have to be I don't know man like life is 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 it's the best trainer to me and you have a whole lot of stuff that you about to go through and to sit here bitch about it ain't gonna solve shit or make excuses my shit yo I like put up the said. best damn fight that you can do mm -hmm. Put up the best fight. Like right now, it's giving me more energy to keep fighting this shit because again, there's things that me and you gonna talk behind off camera. But <laughs> for us personal, like it's shit that's showing up for me. That only thing I've been doing is just this, but mm. I've been doing it with other fucking people. Like not mm. just around the area. Like I'm actually like I'm about to travel soon, my nigga. Do that like, thing, nigga. Hell yeah. Oh, I gotta keep fighting. <laughs> I gotta keep fucking fighting. Like I'm I'm yeah. I'm at a point where I'm looking like what you said earlier, you was like, Yeah, I need to just go ahead and just stick to what I'm doing and I'm gonna be all right. Yeah, but I'm right. worried about the bread, I worry about this, I worry about it's that. It's coming, bro. A lot of people wish they had equipment like you. A lot of people wish they can reach a motherfucker like me just to talk to me, just to do some shit like this or or anybody like bro. Understand you got way more than a, all right. I say you got way more than a homeless man. That's all I say to everybody. You got way more than a homeless man. Shut up. You outside, you sleep outside at night. Shut up. Or that's it. It's like that's it, bro. Everybody live like I said last joint. Everybody live life like tomorrow promise. That to me is the ignorance shit. Yeah. I feel like I really think like this because like not only because I what I've been through, but I got an old soul. Me and my grandma share the same birthday. I was up for adoption before I was even born. And because my mom just wasn't ready, and I don't know, she like but right. my mom wasn't ready for me and shit like that. She had my sister and my, all that shit, so she wasn't ready for me. And uh, my grandma kept telling her, "You're not gonna give him away. Like he gonna be he gonna be born on my birthday. That's gonna be my birthday gift. You're not gonna do it." I was born on my grandma's birthday, and my sister was born on my grandma's mom's birthday. Them, hey, them grandmas be knowing, don't they? They be fucking knowing, bro. They be knowing, don't they? That's I drooped the fish thing. last night. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't me. It ain't me. It ain't me. <laughs> oh, man, I, man, I, 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 I fuck with this interview, man. Uh, uh, multiple different levels, and I feel like there's a lot of things that I need to train more on as an individual. You know what I'm saying? And I, we all do, but mm -hmm. as a 
as a fighter and knowing that shit any day could be your last. Nigga. But how hard of a fight that you put up in that day, nigga, is gonna determine. Yeah, and you, it's all lessons. Like, nigga, when I got shot, that was a wake up call. Like, and me and my dad so like bonded and connected, bro. When I got shot, my dad was getting shot at literally in a shootout while I got shot, bro. Wow. He came up to the hospital, I read as hell. And I be the way that I People gotta understand that it's uh laws of attraction. Right. You know, my nigga, what you think about ultimately happens. They say it's a law where the thing you fear the most will likely be your demise. Remember that. Mm. So when I keep thinking to myself, yo, I used to always sit there and think, like, yo, what would I do in a car accident, bro? What would I do? Like, what would I do to where when I got in a car accident, I worried about what spilt on my fucking jeans. Like, we weren't ready to fall off a bridge into the ocean. Like, the car won't lean into the ocean. Like, when I got shot, I always thought about, you know, a lot of my niggas been dying, bro. A lot of my niggas been dying, bro. They don't get to make it to 21. Yeah. So I sat there and I said to myself, what would you do if, like, you didn't make it to 21? And right before my 21st birthday, I got shot. You know what I mean? And it was just like, stop thinking that. Because you, you, you're not understanding the universe. You still don't understand the universe. You you think that energy is a joke. You think that your mind and shit is a joke. So it's like, think about it. Energy is real. I don't believe in good luck, bad luck. I believe in karma. I look at, say a nigga walking in the building right now, wherever we at, and this nigga got a ski on, or he just wearing all black. You don't know him at all. Nigga just look over there. You just look at him like, Boy, look like he ready to set some shit off. He looked like that's energy, bro. You don't know him. He could come in, like I said, like me, and be the nicest nigga. I'm wearing all black. Be the nicest, sweetest nigga. He might buy the whole bar or something. But to you, you might be like, yeah, I, I, I feel the energy. And you might be getting the right energy from him. Like, you feel me? This is just from people looking. But just his aura, bro, your aura, bro, you come in, it's just like, you feel it like, oh, shit. Like, or you just might have just looked over there like, fuck is that like you don't even know why you looked over there your aura and energy is big bro the earth is is that's how it go bro like that's how it go like everything takes it natural order a, the, a man said to me bro a tree when a tree when you put the seed in the ground you don't have to teach everybody has their natural order it's going to be what it's going to be you don't have to tell a tree grow tree grow branches grow leaves when fall come drop them bitches bring them back Apple tree, drop apple. You don't have to teach these things. So in, as a human, you're going to naturally do the shit that we do. You got you to understand them and take from all, everything that you do is a lesson, bro. I understand that. You see, I understand now my mind is powerful. I understand that now. I got shot to fucking understand that shit. You feel me? Understand this shit. Like, oh, that's what growth is. But that's how you become powerful, bro. That is that is your power, bro. That's your power right there. If you don't think that we all powerful than a motherfucker, then niggas is stupid, bro. Niggas is just stupid. And if you think that Indians, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, shit like that, a lot of these motherfuckers is not niggas. You think that there was all different ethnicities? Nah, they're niggas, bro. How it was like eight million black people on on this motherfucker when what's it called came over here and tried to take over, bro. Christopher Columbus. They only killed like what two million, three million. What happened to everybody else? Yeah, they split them up because it was so much of them. Yeah, it was so much of us that they had to split them up into different ethnicities. People don't understand that shit. You, what they tell you? You from Africa? You, your <laughs> motherland, the Africa's motherland is Africa. You take your little black ass over to Africa. They don't even like you. Yeah, yeah, They're not African, bro. Like, man, I understand <laughs> life, bro. <laughs> Fuck the bullshit. Fuck the bullshit. <laughs> hey, listen, bro. I don't even. I don't know, man. It's it's so much different now. I guess because we're we're older and we see the shit that we was taught in school was bullshit. And now mm. we had the internet and we can be able to like research and everything. Now it's like that shit. That shit bugged out, bro. But no, man, you thinking you over thinking? <laughs> no, nah, I mean I always been into documentaries, bro. Like I always yeah. listen to what you're saying. Now I may not be seeing you, but I hear you because it may yeah. be some shit you saying. I'm like, damn, you said some real shit. I, I like real that, shit. you know. But 
I don't know, man. It's just the person who want to go find it and get it and take it for what it is. So just a person that have it right there in front of their face and say, fuck it. They don't even care. Exactly. Word, word. Yeah, brother. I want you to go and let everybody know where they can find you out of all social media platforms to cut. Oh, uh, man. Uh, y'all can go find, find me on any platform, social media platform, music platforms at Too Well Cut. That's the number two. All the WKUTT, man. Make sure y'all tap in, bro, because I'm always doing something. Consistency is key. I'm on top of my game, man. I'm a different breed, man. Niggas like me just, they not here no more. I'm cut from a different cloth. That's why it's Too Well Cut. This cloth ain't made no more. It's raw. Hey, man, listen here. Whenever you need this intro, that part you just said, I will see you that shit. I'm like, hey, bro. What do you say? <laughs> I break it down. That's why my new song, newest song, I just did it on the last podcast. It's called Who Is He? Because how I do my music, I'm doing it in the order in the industry. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it way different. You know what I mean? My first song that I dropped with them was called New Beginnings. You understand? So it's showing, you know, yeah, mama, we made it out there. They try to take some. And I just sat there and I break down all the new beginnings. The next song I'm ready to drop with them is called Who Is He? When you come to podcasts and interviews and all that, what do they ask you? Tell us about yourself. Who is he? I ultimately try to duck shit like this by putting out, it ain't out yet. So by putting out Who Is He? And it breaks down the entire name to Raw Cut. The number two, Raw Cut, and then to Raw Cut. Yes, sir. And y'all here first, man. Right here. Two Cut Raw, man. The Wave 804 interview coming out. Y'all go ahead and follow my boy, man. Bless to you, my too. G. All right. Appreciate you, man. All righty, man. Keep whooping ass. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I got you, Facts. man. Peace. It's the Peace. Wave.